so let's look at the question number seven now this is the question which is similar to question number six but the manipulations are different the variation is different so i'm taking this question so you will get the limit concept as well okay so i i have gave you the hint what would be the variation so let's start with this question h of omega is given as one for this range otherwise h of omega is zero okay otherwise the function won't be valid and we have to find h of n okay the question is pretty simple h of omega is given we have to find h of n what we have to use dtft or idtft correct we have to use idtft okay so let's use that if i have to use idtft then i should use the integration so h of n should be equal to 1 by 2 pi integral of minus okay now what is the range minus omega naught to omega naught so minus omega naught to omega naught then h of omega the value is 1 into e raised to j omega n d omega okay if you solve this integration you will get the answer for sure and uh, integration is pretty simple e raised to j omega n upon the constants j n n because omega is the variable okay and the upper limit is omega naught lower limit is minus omega naught now if you solve this you will get uh, 1 by 2 pi is outside no problem and let me take j n also outside okay so denominator is free now let's talk about the numerator if i put the upper and the lower limits i will get e raised to j n times omega naught minus e raised to minus j n times omega naught now again we can use the trigo formula because if i take this two uh, what i have this uh, 2j inside this 2j and if I cut from here then this term is now sine theta okay so sine of I have uh, theta is what now theta is omega naught n and in the denominator we have this so this is the function and you can say that this function is valid for n is greater than 0 and n is less than 0 but it is not valid for n is equal to 0 except at n is equal to 0 now your question might be why answer is pretty simple if you put this n is equal to 0 here tell me the difference the difference would be it would be sine of 0 upon 0 so 0 by 0 it is infinity so it is indeterminate cannot be found so this is the function which is valid for every value except at n is equal to 0 that was the concept but what how can we find the value for n is equal to 0 the approach is using the limit so let's do well uh, so the second point is when my n is equal to 0 now my h of 0 is equal to I have limit n tends to 0 to this function sine omega naught n upon n because if we put n is equal to 0 it would be indeterminate so we are using the limit that n is close to 0 not exactly 0 it can be 0 0.0000009 but it is not exactly equal to 0 so if that is my case then what is my answer now if this is understood then the rest part is also simple so what I am doing is I am multiplying and dividing by omega naught so if I do that omega naught then I have limit uh, n tends to 0 sin of omega naught n upon omega naught n because I have to match this theta because my limit formula says limit n tends to 0 sin theta by theta is equal to 1 so now you can say that omega naught into 1 which is equal to omega naught so for n is equal to 0 the answer is omega naught sorry there is one minor mistake I have missed this pi so pi would be present here and pi would be present here as well as pi would be present here so the answer would be omega naught by pi so that was one minor mistake by me so take a care that the answer has the pi in the denominator तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज श्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट